Hey everybody, Sean here and welcome to Revealing Truth. And special thanks to Mark Scott for sharing this. This is the video we're looking at today and as you can see, Hank is the one that came up with that catchy title. Oh, and just a quick warning that this sermon may trigger flashbacks of tripping out on acid if this was your thing in the past. Now I want you to listen as I was standing over there. I kept looking to my right because I kept thinking somebody was standing there next to me because I kept feeling something brush up against me. I'm starting to really think these people are having angelic encounters, but unfortunately, they're fallen angels. It's just hard to believe that so many people today would have the audacity to make up such outlandish lies. So at least some of them must be actually experiencing something. Yet they don't test the spirits as we're told to do in 1 John 4, 1, and therefore allow themselves to be deceived. So buckle up, space cowboys, because we're going back to this trippy sermon. And as I was standing there, I looked and I only saw my mom who was down next to me. But there was too much of a distance between her and me. And I said, God, what is this? He said, this is my angel, your angel that has been sent who is the leader of many of the hosts that are waiting for you, speaking to me and to you that are listening and watching, waiting for us to give them permission. These people really are tripping out because there's no scripture whatsoever that supports humans commanding angels or giving them permission to do anything. This is going beyond what's written, and we're told not to do that in 1 Corinthians 4, 6. God alone is who angels obey. And I said, Lord, what is it? What is it? What, is, what, what permission? He said, in his hand, he is holding a key. And when the word of the Lord comes, which it will, God says, you will access these hosts, and they will be given permission to do what will be a heavenly verdict that has been decided upon in the court of heaven and it will begin to manifest in the earth but then this is what he said he said the key that he's holding are you ready is to give no access or permission in 2024 in your life of anything that tried to steal to kill destroy afflict you come on no listen man i'm hearing this for somebody man i'm hearing this for somebody no you're not this is another trick false prophets use because if even one person says oh i think that's for me then hank becomes a legit prophet to these people and to say that this prophecy key he was given was not to give access or permission to anything that tries to steal, kill, or destroy us or afflict us in 2024 isn't prophecy at all. It's just common sense. God didn't need to send an angel to you to tell us this. Look, we don't need to waste another second of our precious God-given lives listening to this false teacher. But if you do support Hank, please consider the points made earlier in this video and realize that he's not hearing from God, he's not a prophet of God, and he's leading you down a road of lies. Read your Bibles, my friends, and whenever you hear something that seems a bit strange, it's okay to question those teachings and look at what the Bible actually says. So with that being said, feel free to leave your comments below, and until next time, take care and God bless.